What's up guys, it's Hayden back here with another one of my videos. Today guys, we'll be talking about Sony 35 f 1.8 lens. Alright guys, so this lens has a really high performance and a compact design. They say it's uh, perfect for the ideal second uh, lens. This lens is very easy to carry around. Capturing uh, the action, it is ideal for wide varieties of photos, including uh, snapshots, like portrait photography. It is very good. What I don't like it's just 35. I can't really use it for vlogging. This lens is very good in low light. Here, uh, you'll be seeing some of the shots I took in this lens. It's very good in low light thanks to the uh, bright uh, aperture. And then it has the Forgen background blur. Very, very good because it's a 1.8 lens. It is assigned for the Sony Alpha series cameras. The bokeh effect on this is very good. What I mean by bokeh is um, how blurry the background is when you're taking a picture of a uh, subject. Which means the subject has to step up between 3 to 4 feet from the background. So you get that really crisp 1.8. Uh, well, this is 1.8. Uh, background blur and what I find really weird about this lens it's that if you look in the inside um, instead of having its um, glass outwards the glass is inwards I really don't know how to uh, describe that but I'm also glad it has that because like that the lens is not sticking out and at the same time it's just being protected by itself as the focal lens gets longer the lens are uh, built with conventional optical glass have difficulties with chromatic abbreviations and as a result of image suffer from low contrast but that's why it has the ED glass, which is this right here, the glass it has built inside to it. So the ED glass basically provides and enhances your picture by a lot. I am very happy with this lens. Basically, uh, this lens retails for about $450. You can go check it out for yourself. Highly recommend this lens for portrait photography. It is the best lens that I've had for portrait photography. It is just amazing. Next lens that I'm looking forward to buying is the 50mm uh, 1.8. Just not for now. Now I'll just stick with the 35. I've heard people that have the 50mm and then they buy the 35 and they never use the 50mm. They always keep the 35. So that's why I'm a little hesitant on there. Also, guys, this lens has OSS, optical image stabilization. The sensor uh, that's built in the lens detects every uh, slight movement and stabilizes the lens uh, for the pictures and video. Any image blur that you will have, the lens will fix it for you. Basically, that'll help. All right guys so if you guys want to check this lens i'll leave the link down below uh thank you guys so much for watching see you guys on my next video